What's going on, bottom line viewers? It's Mitch back here with another free agency breakdown. My analysis on Kawan Alexander signing in the Bay Area with the San Francisco 49ers. Kwan Alexander, linebacker formerly of the Tampa Bay Buccaneers. Four years, $54 million, and the 49ers finally have found a middle linebacker for their defense the Seattle-based scheme that they do run in San Francisco needs a fast linebacker, a quick decision maker, a guy that can diagnose an opposing offense, and a player who is quick sideline to sideline. That's Quan Alexander in a nutshell. Quan Alexander is a playmaker on the defensive side of the football. He is a player that will intercept the ball take it to the house he will force fumbles he will make big tackles Quan alexander has had his struggles in the nfl there's no doubt about it but he is a playmaker and that's exactly what the 49ers needed in the middle of their defense he is extremely quick he is extremely athletic for the linebacker position and he has a good ability to cover in space and i think he will excel in this scheme so I think this deal is a lot based on potential. I talked about it with the Trent Brown signing that the Raiders had. I think it's the same thing here. I think Quan Alexander has shown promise, has shown he's a good player, but he has never shown he is a great player. He hasn't taken that step from being good with a lot of raw talent to being great. Now, Alexander is currently... 24 years old he's going to be 25 years old this upcoming season so again a guy entering the prime of his career at the linebacker position so this is the type of player you want to pay he played only six games this year and that's part of the concern especially for not only alexander but the linebacker position in general he it is a player that's been injured a lot. So he played 12 games in 2015, 12 in 2017. He had a full season in 2016, and this past year in 2018, six games. But again, he is a player the 49ers really needed. They really needed a linebacker, and they really needed one with speed and ability to just basically cover ground. Um, the, the the Bucks on the Bucks, Quan Alexander had. His best season, I would say, in 2017 when he was a Pro Bowl player. He started 12 games that year, got three interceptions, four pass deflections, a forced fumble, and 97 tackles. In 2016, he was also very good with 12 tackles for loss, seven quarterback hits involved a little bit more on the pass rush with three sacks. He also had one forced fumble seven pass deflections, and interception for a touchdown. So Alexander is a playmaker. He can do a little bit of everything. He can blitz if asked to based off his speed. He can cover if asked to. And this is the type of player that I think is very valuable in the NFL. There's been a lot of questions asked whether the linebacker is still as valuable as it once was. To me, it is because you need a linebacker that can do everything, whether that's pass rush, blitz, cover, play the run game, Alexander can do that, and he can do that very well in this system. Um, hopefully, he can be the 49ers Bobby Wagner, which is probably what they're looking for with this move. I don't think he's Bobby Wagner, but he has a lot of potential left, and as long as he keeps growing, he's going to fulfill this contract. The question is, if he stays the same and he continues to get injured, he probably won't fulfill this contract. So again, like the Trent Brown signing, I feel like this is a signing that it's based on potential. Can he fulfill that potential? It remains to be seen. So let me know what you guys think of this move. Again, I'm a personal big fan of Quan Alexander, the player. but And I'm excited that the 49ers got a linebacker because it was a need. But at the same time, is he worth this money? I don't know. Let me know in the comment section what you guys think. It's Mitch at the Bottom Line View. If you haven't already, Gronk Spike the like button and subscribe to the channel for more NFL free agency. Peace out.